But to be a strong nation, we must also be a wealthy or a rich nation. But they say, Mr. President-elect, it doesn't sound good when you say rich nation. I say we have to be a rich nation if we're going to rebuild our military, if we're going to build the wall. We have to be a rich nation. If we're going to, if we're going to repeal and replace Obamacare, we have to know what we're doing. And we have to be a wealthy nation again. Now, isn't that interesting? It's okay to be a wealthy nation. It is okay to be rich. Mark Lanier, attorney extraordinaire, I welcome this. I think the rich, rich people, successful people, have been demonized for many, many years. And it's a real pity, too, because it, that, that economic desire to have what you need, to have what you can use for others, right? is a good desire that motivates people. Look, look my, my parents never made more than $20,000 a year in their life. But we knew as kids, if we wanted to make more money, we had to develop who we are and what we were doing. That's, that's a good fabric for a society. That's the American dream. That's capitalism at its best. It's a meritocracy. Absolutely. If we can get back to that, Absolutely. all power to the incoming president. But please, get rid of that mentality that says, if you've made it, if you're successful, you've got money, you're bad. If that Say mentality, to that. Paul Krugman, is the end of a republic. Yeah, now you're talking. In case our viewers don't know, Paul Krugman says that the the advent of Donald Trump is the end of the republic. No. And I'm glad you're on our side, Lanier, because I don't ever want to face you in court. <laughs> Thank I'm you, Mark. I'm your lawyer. You're all, really? Uh, always. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm.